Hello, welcome to part four of our four-part series on refurbishing your very own whiskey or wine barrel. In this video, we're going to talk about securing the hoops of the barrel to the wooden staves of the barrel. Now, why are we going to do this? Well, when the barrel was originally filled with whiskey or wine, the wood of the barrel actually absorbs some of that moisture and swells. It swells against the metal bands, keeping everything tight. Well, when you remove the whiskey or wine from the barrel, the barrel begins to dry out a little bit. And when it dries out, the hoops on the barrel can often become loose. And sometimes they can become loose enough to fall to the ground. So what we're gonna do in this video is put a fastener through the metal hoop into the wooden barrel. In doing so, we'll be able to make sure that the barrel stays structurally sound even as that wood dries out. There are a couple different fastener types you can use to secure the hoops to the barrel. One would be to use a drill bit and a drill to drill through the metal hoops and then follow that up by adding a wood screw through the hoop and, and secure that into the wood of the barrel. The other option would be to use self-tapping screws. This would be a one-step process. Self-tapping screws essentially have a tiny drill bit on the end of the screw. So by using those, those screws will drill through the sheet metal hoops and directly into the barrel in one step. Before drilling into the hoops or adding any fasteners, we have to figure out where to put them. I like to put three to four fasteners into each hoop. So what I usually do is I call the bung hole 12 o'clock, and then I put the fasteners at three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock. So right here, I'm looking at about the nine o'clock position on a used barrel that I have here for demonstration. So in the nine o'clock area, I'm gonna find the stave that is closest to that position, which is right here. That stave starts about here and ends here. So I'm gonna find the middle of that and make a mark on the hoop. That's where our first screw is gonna go. So as I mentioned, you can either use a drill bit and drill through the hoop and then add a wood screw, or you can use the self-tapping screws. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use the self-tapping screws. What I have here are number 10 by 16 by 3 quarter inch long self-tapping screws from Lowe's. Using the self-tapping screws and the compatible driver bit, I add the first screw into the barrel through the hoop where I marked. I then follow the stave all the way down the barrel, adding a fastener at each intersection point. Follow the same process at the 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock positions that we identified earlier. Silver color fasteners are most common at any hardware store. That goes well with the silver color bands of the wine barrel. For the whiskey barrel, the silver color fasteners often contrast sharply to the darker hoops. So one thing you might want to consider doing is adding a little bit of paint on top of these fasteners so that they blend in a little better. What we usually do is use this Rust-Oleum metallic colored spray paint. Let's cut a rag underneath the fastener so that we don't overspray onto the barrel wood. Spray a bit of paint onto the fastener and wipe away any excess. Congratulations, you have now finished your very own refurbished whiskey or wine barrel. I'll bet it looks great. If you think of it, please tag us in a photo of your barrel on Facebook or Instagram. We love seeing what customers do with our whiskey and wine barrels. Thanks again for watching. Congrats on finishing this project and we look forward to seeing you in our next DIY series.